So my tire pressure light came on in my van. So I'm checking here inside the driver's door. There's a little tag. It'll tell you what to fill the tires up to, what pressure. Uh, it says 36. I usually aim for 35 on my car. And so I'm just going to go through. I know a lot of people know how to do this and it's very common. But some people maybe they don't know or don't do the right process. So first you want to check and see what pressure you're at. All my tires are actually pretty even right about... 29 psi which is a little on the low side since it's supposed to be about 36 or so and there is a difference between cold tire pressure and warm tire pressure uh, so usually your car tells you the cold pressure to fill it up to so all that means is when you first go to your car check the pressure before you start driving before the tires warm up because you know the air in there and the, the rubber warms up as you drive and it just changes the pressure a little bit uh, just a, a couple three or four psi or so from what i understand so i'm starting to fill up the tire here and i i like to check it multiple times as i'm filling it because i just don't want to overfill it i quickly realize here that the psi on my uh, air compressor is set too low and I, that's because i was using my brad nailer on a project recently and i just never turned it back up so when you're filling your tires at least on my setup here i aim for about 90 psi and that's about what these uh you know flexible uh hoses and, and my equipment can handle 90 psi or so so once you turn that up it fills up relatively quick and so then you just go through and check the pressure then make sure you put the caps on thanks for watching